My name is Dr. Carolyn Cashin. I'm a pediatrician here at the Janeway. I uh, mostly work here in the Janeway Emergency Department. My name is Ian Marshall. My job is I'm an emergency physician with Eastern Health here in St. John's. Adults as well as children can get similar illnesses, you know, asthma, or pneumonia, diabetes. It's different things coming in every day. We can never turn anybody away. And, you know, come with me for a day and watch us do that. Up we go, buddy. You had another cut a couple days ago, didn't you? It's Nanny Howitt's birthday, and we were about to get the cake, so Nathan was running to get the candles, and he banged into the door. Now, tilt your head back, and I'm going to pop those glasses off, all right? What happened to you, Caroline? Yeah. Sore right there, sweetheart. And straighten them out. You know what we're going to do now? I'm going to get a special picture to make sure you don't have anything broken under there. I don't think you do. And then we're going to see what we're going to do about your nail, okay? Anything can happen on any night in an emergency department. But you know, what comes in through the door, sometimes I scratch my head. After 23 years, I say, well, what am I going to do with this? What they have is a display case of um, all the different foreign bodies that they've removed from different orifices in patients here. Some have gone in through skin, some have gone in through other roots, because most of it would come through emergency. I'm sure there's a few fish hooks, probably a dozen coins up there that we couldn't retrieve. The shopping cart kind of ran over the distal portion of her um, right ring finger, or right middle finger, sorry. The main thing is you want to make sure that there's no fracture kind of going into the joint space, um, and there isn't. So the good news is, is there's nothing broken there. You just did a good job of squatting me and move your finger. Okay? Don't mind my glasses. This is I'm 50 years old and it gets harder to see as you get older. And guess what? Another stitch gone in. You didn't feel a thing, did you? You're a pro at this. Did you feel that one? No. No. So I didn't lie to you, did I? I mean, it can get quite busy here in the emergency department. You know, shifts can be quite overwhelming at times. That'll happen to any physician that patients will die. We, we can't save everybody, and patients do die. And part of our job is dealing with that. Um, then you have to get up, and there's 20 people that have checked in since you started that code. And you have to go, you have to go see the earache, or you have to go see the, the sore throat. And you've got to put away your feelings of what you just went through. Okay. All right, did that hurt at all? Not a bit, did it? So next time you come in, you're not going to be scared at all, are you? Yeah. But it's really nice to know that most patients who leave, leave here feeling like they've been well looked after. And it's kind of like a good feeling knowing that you have helped that person that day. Fabulous job. What is it? Thank you. Thank you. That fixed? Cool, isn't it? Very neat. It's a really good feeling. I like what I do. Mm -hmm.